Hi, I'm RJ, and this is my model, Karen, and she's my sister, and we're going to be making her ready for the Oscars. I used a concealer to cover up dark under eye circles, followed by a powder foundation to even out skin tone and still give her a natural, healthy skin look. I contoured the face using bronzer underneath the zygomatic bone, blush on the bone, and a highlight above the bone. Liner on the outer half of the eyes to make them appear larger. Both the eyeliner and mascara are black to make them pop. After primer, a light natural color is applied to the lid with the medium brown in the crease. I used a smudge brush to blend the two together. Next, I used a dark brown on the outer corner and pulled it down under the eyeliner to smudge out the line. Finally, I apply a red gloss with a highlight in the middle to give the lips dimension. After spraying the hair with a heat tamer, I part the hair and will use one inch sections all the way around the head. I clamp down on the hair with a flat iron, twist it 180 degrees, and hold both ends of the straightener all the way down the hair shaft. Once again, clamp, twist 180, and pull both ends of the straightener. After curling, I pull all the hair into a loose ponytail at the side. Then I took a curl, twisted it at the end, and pushed the curl up while I held onto a few strands of hair creating a nice messy structure. With a very concentrated expression, I kept the nails as natural as possible. I used a buffer to smooth the natural nail, and then used cuticle oil to add moisture. This year on the red carpet, it was all about black and white. I tried to keep it simple with some silver bangles. These earrings balanced out the hair and also complemented the necklace very nicely. The silver brooch on the side added a touch of vintage. What else could complete the look better than black Pipto pumps? <laughs>